Hi guys, it's Emily from Doa Deer Nursery. I just got back into town late, late last night, technically early this morning, uh, from my vacation. And as you can see, I got a bunch of mail while I was gone over the past week and a half to two weeks. I know what some of these are, and some I'm a little unsure, which is always exciting when you have mail that you can't remember exactly what it is. And I definitely wanted to show a lot of this to you guys. Uh, so we're going to do a bit of an unboxing video for you guys today. I hope you enjoy. So I thought it was really sweet that all the packages that were collected for me uh, were deposited in my little cradle for safekeeping until I got back. So I'm going to go ahead and get all them opened, get the tape off and such, so I can just show you the fun part of showing what's inside each one. So, sorry about the funky camera angles, but I think this is going to be easiest for showing you everything. So, I've got everything untaped, and we're just going to kind of go through everything one by one. So, the first package is by, or from, Dolls by Sandy. And I'm pretty sure I remember what this is. Oh. All right, these are 20 millimeter blue-gray glass eyes from Dolls by Sandy. These are for a custom Andrea Arcello kit that I'm going to be working on. I'm not going to say who yet. And there they are. It's hard to get their color on camera, especially when they're in a plastic bag. But they are so, so beautiful. They're, you know, kind of a darker gray shade with a tinge of blue in them. I love these. So I'm just going to keep these in some bubble wrap and set these to my right. And I'm going to start a recycle pile over to my left. All right, so next, what do we have here? All right, this is from iArt Reborn which is, I believe, a UK-based Reborn Supply Company. Ooh, and this is a nice big pot of their Dewy Skin Finish, which, if you guys know me at all, you know I am constantly on a mission to find the best possible varnish. It's my biggest pet peeve, um, having a high-quality varnish. So I'm really excited to try this and see what I think about it. All right, oh, next package is from, I can't remember her Instagram username or her company name, and I don't want to say her um, actual name on camera because I don't know if she wants that. So I'll put the information in the description below. But this is a custom-made cloth doll body. Oh, look at the packaging she did. That is so lovely. Oh, here we go. Here's her information. It's cute and cuddly nursery. I don't know. Uh, it does say she's a reborn artist, so perhaps she does customs. I'm not sure. I contacted her about uh, sewing me a custom doll body, and it just says, thank you for your custom body order from Tanya. Very sweet packaging, Tanya. Thank you. So let's open this up. Um, and quickly, I ordered this body because I have been um, gradually putting together a custom Tate Arcello for my personal collection. And I've had a lot of trouble finding a body I like. So I decided to bite the bullet and have a custom body made. Very nicely sealed up in a Ziploc bag. Thank you. She's included all the zip ties. Oh, and that looks really nice. I'm really hopeful this will fit her because I needed something where the um, shoulders were narrow. Hopefully these leg holes are going to be big enough for Tate. She's got such chunky legs. But it's really nicely made. Thank you so much. All right, so put this in here into my little peep pile. Mm -hmm. 
And then let's see what else we've got. Alright, I'm trying to decide what to open next. Let's go, let's go with this. So this um, is from a customer who's having a custom doll made. She already owned the kit she wanted to have reborn, so she just sent it to me. Um, so I'm going to do a quick look over to make sure everything looks in good condition. She packaged it very safely. All right, and it's in its original bag. Looks like there's a little fleck of something in the bag with it. There we go, but I'm sure you guys all recognize this handsome kit. This is Real Born Owen. And let me just give all these limbs a quick look over. Everything looks really good, clean, untouched. I love this kit. I've reborn him once before. I love the vinyl. All right, he looks really good. Um, so Brittany, if you're watching, your kit is here. He's safe. I'm gonna keep him in his plastic bag, or her rather. Keep her in her plastic bag until it's time to be reborn. All of this stuff, guys, goes into my um, Reborn Supply Closet. If you watch my in-depth Reborn workspace, uh, you'll see it. I've since added more shelving and storage, so it is a bit more organized now. But feel free to go check out that video if you want to see how I store and organize all my Reborn supplies. All right. So then the next kit is kind of the same thing. Uh, it's for a custom order client who already had the kit. And what's interesting is she also sent some clothes and things with him uh, that she wants me to use for his homecoming. So I'm gonna do the same thing, make sure everything looks in good condition. All right. There are some, oh, perfect. She also had some mohair she wanted me to try and use because she really liked this color. It's a very tiny amount, but this should be enough to do eyelashes. I'm not going to do it now, but I will take it out later and just kind of examine the quality of the hair to make sure it's uh, good for rooting. All right, and she also sent some socks and pacifiers. Keep that over here. I'm actually going to keep her box because I want to keep all of her items safely together. Here is the body for her kit. Looks to be in good shape. All right, and I'm sure you guys will recognize this chunky roll of a leg and these cute feet. Yeah. Safety wrapped up in a blanket. That was a good call. And here is Saskia, who's actually going to be a little baby boy. And it looks like his kit is in good shape, too. I'm going to keep him wrapped. This is a really soft blanket. Keep him wrapped up in this. And I'm going to keep all her items together. All right, okay, so here's another one. This is a kit that I ordered. It wasn't sent to me by the client, but a client ordered a custom doll from me and the kit is here. Oh, and here she is. It's Greta by Andrea Arcello. And this is who those blue-gray eyes belong to. I'm so excited to see this kit with the body. All right, nice Andrea Arcello cloth body. Um, I've had this kind before and it's interesting. It's got a seam. This is not the rear end as it may seem. This is actually the front. So that's a, I find it a little funny. It looks just fine once it's assembled, but 
Here's the body. Of course, a little ruched bum, as always. Let's take, ooh, this is a big girl. Even though the kit is only, I believe, 19 and a half or 20 inches in length, which sounds like it would be newborn. Looks like she's gonna be a chunker girl, so I'm already anticipating she'll be a size zero to three. This face, goodness guys, this face is adorable. I will show you later in better lighting, probably in another video, because um, it's hard to tell, but she's got a lot of great detail on her face. There's a, I notice Andrea Arcello has a lot of great subtle indentation. There's like a dimple in the chin and some good little indents in the cheeks at the corner of the smile lines. It's got that thick Andrea Arcello vinyl which is good for painting is a pain in the butt for rooting but that's the way it goes oh, look at how chubby these let i can't even get my finger around these legs are so so chunky and very cute and nice hands look even though the vinyl is generally really hard these limbs are quite squishy and the fingers are quite uh, pliable. So that's really nice. All right, so that's Greta. Again, I'm keeping her all together. And last but certainly not least, I think this is the package I'm most excited about, uh, Janine. I believe she's Janine Honey Babies. Um, on Instagram, I'll put her information down below. I'm terrible at remembering usernames. But I sent her several weeks ago my Tate Arcello for some rooting. And I'm so excited. Yep, here we go. Janine of Honey Baby Art Dolls. That's her business card. She generally um, does not do custom rooting, so um, please respect that of her, that this is just kind of a one off thing that she did. Oh, very sweet card. Thank you so much, Janine. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. And I can't wait to see this baby, guys. I'm so excited. I've wanted an Andrea Arcello Tate in my personal collection for quite some time. Look at how well she packaged her up to come home. I don't have a brush handy, which I should, because I know the rooting... Rooting is always messy after transit. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I, I believe I sent her head wrapped in this blanket, but she sent her back with a beautiful floral headband on it. How sweet is that? Thank you. Definitely keeping this headband. It's beautiful. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. This is only the second time I've ever had a personal collection doll rooted. Oh, she's got a diaper on her head. It's definitely going to be messy because of the diaper. But we will see. Oh, her head seems smaller than I remember. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you guys, it's so beautiful. Oh, Janine, this is so wonderful, you guys. It's so fantastically micro-rooted. You can't see a single pluggy hole. It's all so delicately done. And Janine, the color is perfect. We had... Again, guys, I'm sorry about the lighting. It's really not the best. Here, maybe that'll help. We had such an issue trying to kind of match the color we both had in mind. And so she did this beautiful blend, I believe, of strawberry blonde, baby brown, and a touch of auburn. And it's exactly what I had hoped. Oh, you guys, this is so exciting for me. 
I finally have my Tate Arcello. So probably the next video I'll be putting out is getting her all assembled with her newly rooted head and her new custom body. Oh, she is so beautiful. Janine, thank you so much. I am so pleased. You have no idea. I certainly hope we get to work together in the future because you do absolutely gorgeous work. Oh yeah, the inside is fabulously sealed. Wow. So impressed. So, so impressed. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. I'm so excited to get to um, start working on all these wonderful things I got in the mail. I had a lovely vacation, but I'm definitely glad to be back and ready to get working. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Collected all my packages for me. Oh, there goes my dog. Okay.